Hello friends, and welcome to the channel. I'm Handington, and today I'm here to review the back of this Fruit Loops box. I had mentioned in the Rice Krispies video that I was going to be reviewing this. Yes, I am reviewing cereal boxes. Yes, I do have both of them. And yes, it is in a bag to keep it safe from bugs. So let's let's just um let's just take in the entire box art of this uh, before anything else happens. So just just take a brief look at everything that's going on here and try to take it in. First off, these artists are never credited. Whoever ended up drawing this, uh, it's certainly a lot of stuff going on here. It's certainly very busy. And there's a lot more activities to do uh, on the back of this box than just the recipes on here and then the, a brief little look around the area to try and find this, that, and the other thing. Uh, so this one at least has a, a little bit more uh, in terms of games. Nothing is probably going to beat this one waffle uh, waffle cereal where the back of the box at one point was so jam-packed with tons and tons of activities to do. Like, the entire thing. Oh, and some it was like a, some honeycomb cereal one that was uh, just so densely packed. It's like a Where's Waldo uh, of cereal art. Part of me wishes I could kind of save some of these if I cut them out one day and just tried to save some cereal art backs, just because they get they get changed up so much over time that you lose some of the ones that are really awesome, uh, and you you just you just don't see those again, and then uh, they just they just cycle out, and who knows what'll end up happening. But um, so let's let's just take this in. Uh, in little little bits at a time. So Fruit Loops cranks up the color and fun. I, I I don't know if they should have said Fruit Loops crank up because they're saying cranks up. Fruit Loops cranks up the color and fun. And that doesn't seem grammatically correct any time of day. Pre preferably breakfast, but yeah, you can have Fruit Loops at any any point of the day. Um, a very underrated, having breakfast cereals as a dessert or as a snack to just chew on. Dry cereal, very underrated, very tasty. Uh, Fruit Loops is, uh, not a bad cereal for that. Cocoa Puffs are fantastic, I love that. But if you're not super into, uh, cocoa, then uh, just munching on a few Fruit Loops during, uh, other points of the day. That is definitely, uh, an enjoyable snack if you've ever, uh tried it. I I would recommend doing that uh, at least one or two times uh, with a cereal where you just go, okay, you know what? I want to just pour a little bit onto my hand and then you just you just eat a little bit of it and then maybe rinse your hand off or something. But uh, it's really tasty. I like it. So what we're, what we're here to study is the back of the box, not the cereal itself. What do you think this is? A, re a review of the foods? No, it's just the box. The one-of-a-kind taste and aroma will inspire you to do whatever fruits your loops, which is, I guess, their new attempt at s their slogan. I, follow your nose was better. It, it was much more memorable and had much more to mock. Whatever fruits your loops, whatever floats your boat, that's not exactly <laughs> the best thing relating to the cereal, because at least you'd have Toucan Sam, and you'd just be like, follow your nose for the fruity taste that shows. Um, and it, I don't know about you, but I never really associated Fruit Loops with, oh, it smells like fruit. You don't normally smell your cereal. I mean, you'll open it up and you'll be like, oh, well, there's sort of a, a sugary smell, like if you have a marshmallowy cereal, or for the Cocoa Krispies, it's like, oh, well, that kind of smells like chocolate. Here, it's just sort of like, oh, okay, it's just kind of cereal. Um, I guess there's a kind of fruity aroma, but you, that, it's certainly not something that draws you into wanting Fruit Loops, is that, oh, it smells like fruit. No, no, it's, it's cereal that tastes fruity. So you can have some kind of different flavor uh, as opposed to the chocolate or some other sugary things where it has some semblance of other flavors to it. Though, of course, not only is it definitely not real fruit, uh, 
which I guess is probably why they uh, talk about the aroma, because it's just made with, I don't know, like, the fumes of fruit. Hey, this thing was next to an orange, so now it's orange-flavored. <laughs> uh, so I guess that works. But uh, I never really think about the smell of Fruit Loops. I always just think about, well, well, it's pleasant. It's it's a fruity cereal. Uh, I know some people would definitely love this. I I am much more of a chocolate person. I really love chocolate, but it's sort of like Skittles, where sometimes you're in a mood for a fruity thing, or you just you don't want chocolate. You want something that's a bit more fruity, and it tastes nice. I like this. Oh, hello. My sister is now doing the laundry downstairs. She came down very very quietly, so I didn't hear her. So. Anyway, back over to the box of Fruit Loops that we are reviewing. Uh, I guess this is just kind of par for the course. I think she understands. So let's look over at this uh, fruity beauty. Can you sniff out all six fruit-shaped flowers around the neighborhood? Cherry, orange, lemon, lime, raspberry, and blueberry. All right, so we have to find a cherry, orange, lemon, lime, raspberry, and blueberry. I just said that, but I needed to say it again so that I understood what I'm talking about. So, uh, all, already you gotta say, okay, well, it's in flowers, so where is it? And I've looked at this cereal box before. Oh, she's coming back upstairs. And now she's upstairs, so I'm going back downstairs, but into another room. So now it's bathroom cereal. It's a good thing it's in a bag. <laughs> Anyway, so I've looked at the back of this box to try and find the fruit, and it says that it's on the flowers, because, spoilers, this is not the first time I've looked at the back of this box. Uh, I've had it for cereal a few times, and I've just been looking at it and thinking about all the different things that I could do for a video on this, because this, this is a pretty densely packed box. I actually have a decent amount of things to say about it. So let's try and find the flowers. Uh, first off, the flowers are not scattered throughout the area, so the flowers are only located in the garden here. So you look over here, and very, very obviously, they're not, they're not hiding this at all. There's just the giant blueberry in the flower. So the middle of the flower is just a gigantic blueberry. Why? Is there a blueberry growing from a, a flower, like a daisy? That's not how blueberries grow. They are also not the size of a, a garden trowel. That's not really a trowel, but I don't know what that is next to the shovel. It's it, it's not about the size of, like, someone's hand. There, there's somebody's hand over here, this, this guy, this semi-shaggy-looking guy who looks very depressed with his guitar. He's just like... Uh, my entire existence takes place on the back of a Fruit Loops box. Just play your guitar, man. Just play your guitar. So the blueberry is just growing on the flower. Not very well hidden, and at this point you've probably also seen the lime next to it, which has just taken over the entirety of the flower. Uh, so th this lime is just superimposed over, I guess, whatever the flower was supposed to be. Uh, very poorly hidden, very, it sticks out very much so, though at least the lime is green colored, so it kind of blends in with the grass, but the blueberry just sticks out so much. So these are very easy to see. So that's two out of the six right here. Uh, and then over here, we have the raspberry also sticks out. The raspberries are huge, like they're from Pokemon Go or something, the, the, those gigantic raspberries. Uh, the raspberry is about as big as this semi-deformed dog's head. Uh, when you look at the at the size over here to here, I realize I've been pointing at the screen with my thumb uh, that's holding the camera. This thing here, I've been pointing at that while talking. I need to point with this thumb, which you can actually see. So there's the dog's head-sized raspberry, also just placed on the flower, and then this lemon, which they didn't even bother putting on the yellow flower. They didn't even make a blue flower or anything to disguise the blueberry, but here, it's not even on a yellow flower. It's just a very, very easily noticeable orange just placed on these flowers. Uh, so that's four out of the six fruit. 
And then you'll also notice that uh, right next to it, I first thought these were like cherry tomatoes growing and she was like, ha she had some vegetables. Then I realized, oh no, wait, uh, that's the cherry that we need uh, to find. So the cherry is in her flower pot here and the cherry is, uh, both of the cherries take up the size of the dog's head as well. Uh, so these are massive, massive cherries. Uh, this one at least seems like it was a little bit more hidden because it's next to some red flower and kind of blends in with the look of everything. So that one is okay. And then, so, all of this pretty easily noticeable fruit is around here. And then I have no idea where the, the, the last fruit is. I've only been able to find five. In, in, in the entire thing over here. I've been trying to look around for it, and I have no idea where it is. I, I let's see, so we have the, we have the raspberry, cherry, lemon, lime, and we need an orange, uh, and the blueberry. So we, we have to find an orange somewhere around here, and I imagine that this thing over here Th that might be like a very, very tiny orange that's supposed to be placed there. Um, but I'm not sure where. I tried looking around on people's shirts to see if there was a flower there. Um, I looked at the, uh, the the birdhouse, which is actually just orange there, but that doesn't have anything. I looked on the rooftops to look for more flowers. There it is. So, um, yeah, the orange is located right there. And there are more flowers in the backyard. And it, well, at least it blends in with the, uh, the words, so... <laughs> and it, it looks, it just, we're looking quickly, it looks like it's part of the 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 fence so they actually hit a fruit decently well on this uh <laughs> so i was going to just say they have all of the fruit here that is so easy to find and then one that's just carmen san diego who's just some no not carmen san diego what's uh, some master of disguise I don't know. Ma the movie Master of Disguise. A guilty pleasure of mine. There we go. Well, when I was younger, at least. I, don't, I haven't seen it in years, so I don't know how well it holds up. But uh, we just have the ultimate secret disguising... Who's my what's this? What's that person from um, Wild Wild West? The Not uh, not Mr. West, but his, uh, his uh, assistant, the guy who's known for disguises. That's what this orange is. Uh, I don't know his name off the top of my head. I, re I, re I used to, but I don't remember it. I used to, meaning, like, my father used to watch the Wild Wild West a whole bunch, like, earlier in the year, and now he doesn't, so now I don't remember the name. So, none of you are probably interested in anything that I'm saying <laughs> at this point. Thank you for still sticking with this video. Back to the, more of the, uh, the creepy children. Uh, we'll, we'll get to the other words next. So... We just have let's let's just look at these these people here. So we have this child who looks a little bit like that kid from Meet the Robinsons, but he's wearing lipstick. Except that's not his lips. That is his mouth, and his mouth is open. So he looks sort of like the red Pikmin with their mouth open, except he's he's just He's not charming. He's just disturbing. His eyes are slightly closed on the top, which just makes him like a bit freakier the longer you stare at him. Uh, and also, as you may notice, uh, the way that everyone is supposed to look on cereal boxes is that they have their eyes looking downwards. Notice how his eyes are looking downwards. How on all of these, they're looking downwards. On the front cover of this, they're all looking downwards. And that is because they're supposed to be looking at a child who is looking at it from up here, because when a kid is looking down, is, is looking up on a shelf, and they see someone looking down, it looks like the mascot is looking at them, and it makes it more enticing, and then the kids would ask their parents to buy it. So that even relates to all of the characters on the back, so even if it's turned around, 
they are supposed to be looking at you. The only people who break this uh, are like this woman here who's looking at the phone, and then this girl over here who is looking at this kid, and then this kid is looking down at you, which is really freaky because she's like, hey, Kyle. We're pretending to be from laughing, so let's open up this window and talk. And then he's just, he's verbally saying question mark to her while looking downwards at, I, well, there are tons of people below him, so he could be looking at that. But just, he, he's basically aware of your presence and then looks at you and goes question mark, completely ignoring this girl whose face... I, I think she has a tumor on the on this side of her face, uh, because that is definitely not a normal shape. And this this child, uh, uh, there's nothing really wrong with his face. He's actually one of the better looking children designs on the back of this box. He doesn't look quite as scary as the other people on here. Uh, let's see, and then uh, this guy, this guy over here, he is just totally checked out. I I know these are supposed to be like cleaning bubbles, but I like to imagine that they're drug bubbles, and he's completely out of it on all numerous drugs. He's using, I don't know what this is, like a gigantic gummy bear uh, to wash his car, because that does not look like any sponge or rag I know. His water here doesn't look like it is spraying. It looks like it froze solid, like he started to spray it out, and then it froze uh, in the middle of this. 